Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Cressida opens up about the one thing that bothered her about the royal wedding. There were a lot of shattered hearts the day Meghan Markle got married to Prince Harry and the couple became the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. However, there were a lot of mixed feelings from two of Harry's ex-girlfriends, Cressida Benes and Chelsea Davy, who were attendees at the royal wedding. And now, in a new blog post, as reported by The Spectator, Cressida has openly talked about the royal wedding her appearance at the spectacular event, and the one thing that troubled her the most, hats. Friends are starting to get married, which means the dilemma of British wedding attire, Cressida wrote. Hats. Why do I find hats so tricky? Tricky to wear, tricky to look at, and extremely tricky for the poor soul sitting in the pew behind. Most of the time I avoid headgear. This can prompt disapproving looks from the older generations. And then, in a casual, diary entry way, the theater actress slipped in the information about her attendance at her ex's wedding. Last weekend I attended the royal wedding. Same, Gracie, same. The invitation clearly stated that guests must wear hats. Yikes. I opted for a minimal feathered number, and can only hope I got it right. Although Cressida seems to have moved on from her past relationship with the prince, she seems to be happy at his current developments, which might not be the case with the Duke of Sussex's other girlfriend. Chelsea Davy. It was recently revealed that the former couple, who dated on and off for seven years, shared a phone call with each other only a week before the royal wedding. As per reports by Vanity Fair, the 32-year-old's invitation to the wedding was pretty much a hit and miss, since it was not even clear in the beginning whether she would be present at the royal wedding that took place last week. It was their final call a parting call in which they both acknowledged Harry was moving on. Chelsea was quite emotional about it all. She was in tears and almost didn't go to the wedding, an insider said. The insider went on to confirm that though both Chelsea and Cressida were invited to the royal wedding, their names were not in the list of people invited to the more private evening reception party held at Frogmore House. In the end, she went and promised Harry that she wouldn't try and gatecrash the party, explained the insider.